Hi, this is the Black Bear Prepper, and today we are going to talk about the solar lighter, or the solar spark lighter, or all the other different names these guys have. And we're going to show you how to get one for free, okay? Now the solar spark lighters, basically what it is, is it is just a dish with a spring on it. These were invented for uh, lighting cigarettes, so that's why they have, they have a curly Q metal piece right here for lighting cigarettes, and you just hold it up to the sun you're gonna hold it in the spot where you want to be and sure enough in a couple seconds you gotta kinda wiggle it around and you'll see it start to take off you know let's see if we can get sun starting to go down but should be up there we go just kinda keep wiggling it and you'll see that the smoke start coming off there sorry about the wind guys but it just came up just as we got started here And just keep holding on there and we'll see if we can get a little better spot here there we go what we want to see this thing do is basically just smoke like crazy and now that we've got that one going I want to show you how this other one works here that we've done because this one's pretty easy now the nice thing about the the ones you pay for is very easy to find the focal point this guy it's a little harder, and what we basically did is we just took the lens out of an old one of those old uh, flashlights, the big like D cell battery flashlights, or the ones that are um, for like the big six volt guys. And we just took the light, the lens out, and the light bulb out, and we stuck our jute right in the end. Now the big problem I've had with these guys is finding something that will actually light. And you just kind of wiggle it around until you find a spot. There we go. That starts to work really good. And we want to get these guys just burnt living, the living daylights out of them and just really get them to burn. It only takes a couple of seconds to do so, but probably five or ten seconds of really good smoking, burning. And you want to see this start sucker just barrel smoke out of there. You want a really good smoker. You know, this is very similar to doing like your flint and steel with, uh, with, your uh, char cloth. Char cloth will work. If you use char cloth, it works just fine. You can get a little little coal going on a char cloth pretty easy. Uh, it does not work with cotton balls. It does not work with leaves that I can see. I've seen it work with uh, with the jute. Seems to work really, really well. Something dark. Uh, paper doesn't work. White paper doesn't work. I've tried. Newspaper, paper towels, toilet paper, all kinds of things like that. But none of those seem to work very well. Now we're going to take this guy over here. And now that we've got our, our burner going here, so now that we've got our good coal going, and you can see we've got a plenty of good smoke going, we've got a good coal going, we're going to go ahead and put it in our bird's nest here. See if we can get a fire going. Mm. All right. Yeah, we may have lost our our burner on that one. Let's see if we can get this other guy to light here. Now the funny thing was is the battery just died on this video we were doing and and it worked perfectly the last time. <laughs> and as you'll see it does work. Can get it going. You know, and we take our little piece of jute and get our you know, it all burns, but they do work really well. You know, you just got to do it just like you would with an old, old time flint and steel type set. Now, if you bring it back up here, this is the rope we're using. This is jute. I get it at the craft stores. You can get it for about a pound of it, which is a ton. It's this four strand. I'd like to see the same, you know, uh, three-eighths size 
in uh, three ply instead of four ply. It's a little easier to work with. If you just take it and bust it all up, it works just great. Or just stick it in when you're getting it lit. You just kind of stick it straight in, and then bust it up for making your uh, bird's nest. But I pay like five ninety nine for this stuff. Really good stuff, but. Uh, this is uh, Tate with the Black Bear Prepper, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments. Feel free to subscribe at the bottom. Tell us what you liked or didn't like or want to see. Something you've seen on YouTube that maybe you're like, I doubt that really works. We'd be happy to test that out for you and see if it actually works. But uh, like I said, this is one of our videos. We're going to start doing some of the videos on scouting. So some of our videos are going to come up on not tying for our scouting. We're, you know, I'm 11-year-old scout leader, so... That part kind of comes out, and we're also going to be doing more of these, uh, does it work? And the next one we're going to be working on is going to be the pot heater. And you've seen that where they take the clay pots and put them up there, and everybody says they work great. We're going to show you, does it actually work? Will it actually do what it says it's going to do? So, as always, have a great day.